Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Barron, and today we're going to begin module three, lesson one. And our objective is I can compare lengths using taller than and shorter than. So when we talk about taller and shorter, we're going to be comparing the sizes of things and how long they are. So to start with, I want you to look at the buildings below. I want you to tell me how they're the same and how they're different. Let's think about taller and shorter. Okay? Go ahead and pause me and think about that and then we'll do a talk when you come back. So let's talk about this picture right here. What do you notice? Are the buildings all the same size? No. Look at this building is taller than the rest of the buildings. Or you could say these buildings down here are shorter than these buildings. And then if we look over here, which picture has taller buildings? Does this building have taller buildings or this build or this picture have taller buildings? This picture this picture right here is in the city. In the city, the buildings are a lot taller. But you can see there are some shorter buildings in comparison to the other buildings around. And then this is more like in the countryside, like a farm. Um, and these are barns, and they are shorter than the buildings in the city. You're not going to see these types of buildings out in the country. Okay, so when we talk about taller and shorter and longer and wider, those are all terms we use when we talk about measurement. So this is a measurement unit. We're going to be talking about things that are heavier and lighter. We're going to be talking about things that are longer and shorter. We're going to talk about things that take up more space and take up less space. So I want you to look at this picture right here. I have a ribbon and a book. Which one is longer? If you think the ribbon's longer, put your hand on your head. If you think the book is longer, put your hand on your knees. I would say the ribbon is longer than the book. But is the ribbon heavier than the book? Heavier's weight, so if I was to put them on a scale. No, the book is heavier than the feather. So I want you to start using those terms in your head. We're going to really start to think about heavier, lighter, longer, shorter, what takes up more space, which takes up less space. Now, can I change the length of something just by squishing it? Like, for example, say this ribbon is longer than the book. Can I just squish it up and say, nope, it's shorter? No, it would actually have to be changed by like cutting it to be shorter. You can't just squish something up or anything like that to change its size. So to start with today, we are going to look at the two strings below. And I want you to pause me and think, what do I notice about those two strings? What did you notice? Hmm. One is what? Longer and one is shorter. Very good. So look at these two strings. Which one's longer? Is it this string or this string? Point to it on your screen. It is this string right here. Very good. This string is longer than this string. But when we measure, look at I really should have done this for you to line them up. Because what if I put it up here? Would that make this string longer? No. 
So when we measure, we want to make sure they're at the same starting point. Okay? They're at the exact same point. Now in this case, it didn't matter much, but we want to always make sure we're accurate with our measurements. Accurate means we are getting as close to the answer as possible. We want the closest accurate answer. So which one's longer? Is it this string? This string. This string is longer than this string. Or we could say this string is shorter than this string. Good job. Let's see what they have for us next. I I did a magic trick when I changed that slide. I scrunched up that long string and I made it shorter. You don't believe me? Wait, why? You're right. I can't crumple something up and make it shorter. Right? You just can't do that. That's not how measurement works. If I were to unfold that string, it would go back to being longer than this one, right? Yeah. So you can't just crumple it up. You would need to cut it. Right? Yeah. We can't just crumple it up. That doesn't change the real measurement. Would that be an accurate answer? Not at all. Oh, I can't fool you guys. You guys are smart. Okay. So now I want you to look at the two pencils. What do you notice about them? Which one's longer? Which one's shorter? Go ahead and pause me and think about how you would answer if I asked you which one was longer and which one was shorter. Okay, so what do you think? Which pencil is longer? Is it this pencil over here or this pencil over here? Hmm. Put your hand on your head if you think it's this pencil. And put your hand on your nose if you think it's this pencil. I think it's this pencil too. But let's line them up for accuracy. Can you say accuracy with me? Accuracy. Were we right? Yeah, we were. So eventually when we get better with measurement, we'll be able to just look at things and know. But we want that accuracy with everything we do in math. So we want to make sure. So that's why I put them next to each other like this. See how the tips line up right there? That's a really important thing to remember when you're measuring. So if this one, this pencil is longer, what could I say about this pencil? This pencil is shorter than this pencil. Great job. I'm going to do another magic trick, okay? See, I told you I was good. I put my hands and I covered the pencils and um, I made the pencils the same length. I really didn't do any magic. You want me to move the hands? Okay. You're right, I didn't do any magic. The pencils are not the same length at all. So, can I change the length by covering them like I did with my hands? No. Can I change the length by crumpling something up? No, so can I really even change something's length? Right, not without cutting it or doing something to it that changes what it is. And that wouldn't be an accurate measurement, would it? If I went and cut this pencil down to match that pencil, that wouldn't be accurate because then I'd be comparing two different pencils from my original pencils. And we don't want to do that. So the endpoints of the pencils need to be in the same space for us to compare them fairly. So the endpoints are the tip. 
So I'm going to move this down just to make sure my magic trick didn't work. Did it work? No. I really didn't do any magic. So today we talked about longer than and shorter than. And we talked about accuracy. And remember, accuracy means we want the closest answer. And we want it to be the closest to the correct answer. So we can't just go change things. We couldn't put this pencil up here and say they're the same length. We have to compare them accurately. So we have to put them at the same starting point. And that makes them be able to be compared fairly. We also talked about we can't just crumple something up. That would affect the accuracy of our measurement, right? Yeah, we can't just go crumple something up. We can't just move it however we want. We have to make sure it's a fair measurement. And we also talked about how things are taller and shorter all around us. So I want you to kind of look, start looking around your house or your apartment, wherever you live. And I want you to start using those words like longer and shorter. So if I were, I'm going to grab something from this room. One second. Okay, I just grabbed two things really quick. I have a marker and I have a book that I found right in this room. And look at, I can compare these and I could say the marker is what compared to the book? Shorter than the book, right? We can use measurement all around us. Or I could say my book is longer than my marker. So I want you to start looking around your environment or the place you live and figure out how we can use those terms every single day. Did you have an exit ticket today with a few questions about longer and shorter? And then when we come back tomorrow, we're actually going to get string out and we're going to start measuring things around the places we live and comparing lengths. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.